Hey everybody, today we're gonna go over the penny picker trick that we talked about in class. And so remember to do this trick, you're gonna need a couple of things. First, you're gonna need two of every coin. That means you need two pennies, two nickels, and two dimes. I like to use all small coins. I don't like to use a quarter, because a quarter's big and you know quarters are fun. We like to keep those. And it also means that I have two silver and one copper, and I like that too. You're also gonna need a full size envelope. I like to use the security envelopes so that you can't see inside. You're gonna need a little postcard, okay? And you'll also need tape, probably Elmer's glue, and a marker. Now, to do your setup, you're gonna have to make the prediction that you're gonna keep on yourself. And so the first thing I do is I take one of the pennies, I put a tiny piece of Elmer's glue on the back and I glue it to the card. And then at the top, I write, you will choose the, you will choose the, and then of course they'll see the penny. And I like to tape the penny down because the penny has a nice contrast against the white background and it's also a penny. So who cares if we glue it, right? Uh, you might wanna take a little piece of tape and tape it to the top. That way it'll hold the penny down to the cardboard. Then once the glue is dry or you think you're ready to go, you're gonna take the entire postcard and you're gonna stick it inside the envelope then you're also gonna grab the loose dime, and you're gonna drop the dime in the envelope, and then you're gonna seal the envelope. Now at this point, you could leave the envelope just the way it is, or you could write a bunch of question marks all over it, or you could write the word prediction across the front, anything you want, it's up to you, you pick. Next, I'm gonna put all three of the coins that I'm gonna show my spectator, one penny, one nickel, one dime, I'll put those in one pocket, and then I'll take the remaining nickel and that goes in my hand, okay? And this is the hand that I point with. Remember, this is the hand I point with, and nobody knows there's really a nickel in my hand. So at this point, you walk up to the person, you've got your envelope in your pocket, you've got your nickel in your hand, right? And you tell them that we're gonna conduct an experiment, and you're gonna use three coins. And at this point, I reach into my front pocket, pull out my three coins, lay them down. And remember, I laid them down silver, copper, silver, right? Uh, face up, face down, face up. And that will kind of help you later when you tell your story. So at this point, I'm gesturing with both fingers because I don't want it to look like one finger's only closed and one finger's open. I'm gesturing with both fingers. And I'm saying, okay, you see all these coins that are on the table. I want you to think about one coin in your mind. And even though you could change your mind from this coin to that coin, it won't matter because I'm gonna predict the exact coin you pick. And once you make your selection, you can't change your mind, so make your selection in your mind right now. And when you're ready, I want you to take your pointer finger and touch one of the coins. But just know that as soon as you touch that coin, that's the coin we're gonna use. And no matter what, even though you think you have a free choice, I'm still gonna predict exactly which coin you pick, okay? So at this point, if they take their finger and they put it on the nickel, then you're done because the nickel's already in your hand. Right, The nickel is probably the easiest one out of all of these to do. They touch their finger to the nickel and you say, ah, you chose the nickel and that was actually the one I had in my hand the entire time. Trick's done. So at this point, if they choose the dime or the penny, I'm gonna use the hand that has my nickel, reach into my pocket, let go of the nickel and pull out the envelope, right? And I can shake it because I can say in, in this envelope, I have a prediction, right? And if, as I'm shaking it, I'm making sure the dime and the postcard are dropping down to the bottom. And it's fine if they hear something because there is something in there, okay? I'm then going to uh, tear off the top one inch or so of the envelope, okay? And here's where you just have to remember what you're doing, okay? So if they chose the dime, right, I'm gonna open up the envelope a little bit like that, and I'm gonna pinch the postcard with the back of my fingers, back here, and I'm gonna let the dime roll out. Boink. And I'd let it roll out into their hands or let it roll out and let it hit the table, okay? Because that's more, you know, dramatic. And I say there's, you know, and then you could take this and just tear it in half and just show there's nothing else in there if you wanted to be dramatic. Um, if they choose the penny, the dime's still in there, Again, you'll tear it off, you'll open it up, pucker it, okay? And now I'm gonna reach in, and I'm gonna grab the postcard and pull it out, leaving the dime inside. And just put this down to your side, because it's an empty envelope at this point. 
and they see the card that says you will choose the penny. Okay? So that's your out for all three. Remember, this is a trick that has a multiple out, multiple out. So if they choose the nickel, it's in your hand. If they choose the penny, it's on the postcard. And if they choose the dime, it's loose inside the envelope. And again, as always, if you're gonna use glue or paper or start rummaging around through your parents' stuff, make sure you always have permission and make sure you have permission to watch YouTube as well. Thanks guys, I'll see you next week, bye.